Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're doing another video on the Sony Xperia X Compact Edition. Massive thank you to Vodafone, so please give them a thumbs up as they have been supplying me now for nearly three years with all their devices. Absolutely, thank you very much. So today I want to talk about the key video that's very key to myself and that is the disabled settings that we find here on this device. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello, I'm Ricky. I'm the creator and owner of Tech Talk. My little niche, a little bit different on YouTube, is that I'm visually impaired. I'm actually registered blind, so I look at these devices slightly different. I do the good old fashioned unboxing setups and reviews, comparisons, and my final thoughts, but also I like to do the disabled settings on each device as they can change. Some devices bring in more features, some drop quite a lot. So today we're going to see what this device has in store for us. So, first of all, it is running Android 6.0 which is Marshmallow, so some different operating systems run slightly different. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Let's jump into the settings though. So first of all, what we need to do is go into our main settings. So our app draw here, and then what you want to do is slide all the way down to the bottom first of all, and then you can actually count three up. So we have one, two, and then three. So it's called accessibility settings, it may be called it disabled settings, but majority of the time it's called accessibility. So in here, as you can see, number one is captions. So captions will help identify text on the screen if you're a little bit hard of hearing. Also you have magnification gestures here. So if we go in here, you can actually toggle this on. So one, two, three. So three quick taps of a finger. You can actually get in and zoom in. You can also pinch to zoom as well. Pinch to zoom back out. Three quick taps again and that magnification has gone back to normal. So that's magnification gestures, which will work on any part of the device. So underneath that, you have large text. This is the one little key problem I found on this device. It doesn't actually have any option for text size. It's either large text or quite small. So if I just toggle this off here, you can actually see how small that is. So underneath that, you have high contrast text. So toggle that on, you can see a slight difference. Next, underneath that, you have color inversion. So once you do this, some people find it's easier to read their device. This will change the whole device. So if we go back to home, it will look very different. You can actually toggle that off there very easily. Also, you have color correction there available. We have talkback, which I'll go into more details shortly about. You have accessibility shortcuts. This is very good. You can actually put a shortcut on your home screen or a nice easy place for you to get to these settings to change very easily. You've got play sound when battery is full. You've got speak your password here if it's a bit hard to use the touch keypad on this device. You've got text to speech output. So next we have power button to end calls. So the power button on the right hand side, which is a silver one, you can press that to end your calls. You have auto screen rotate. So when you turn your device around like so, it'll actually show you it in a landscape or portrait mode, it's up to you. That can be toggled on or off. Then underneath that, we've got touch and hold device. So some people that might have a bit of problems with the sensitivity of the touching of the device can change the settings in here. And also we have about talk back and switch access once again. So let me just go up to the top here and let me talk a bit more about talk back. So talk back is a great feature. It's a voice assistant on the device, which will talk back everything that you will see on this phone. So if we toggle this on, have an agreement here. Okay, so what the device will do is read everything that is highlighted. So I'm going to highlight this box here. When TalkBack is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch, select and activate. If you have turned TalkBack on accidentally, turn it off by tapping the switch until the green outline is around it, then double tapping it. Do the same interaction for the resulting confirmation dialog. So as it was saying there, if you do actually do this by mistake what you need to do is highlight the area and then double tap to actually get out of that but once it's in this area you can actually highlight different things so long arm notification bar here so we can get the time you can get notifications again we've got so you've got the back button there, or we can toggle it off here. So there we go. That was how simple and easy it is to use. But this feature is one of the main uses of these devices for myself and many other people that are visually impaired. So for myself, I either use the large text, I would benefit from that actually being a little bit bigger. So it is quite hard to see and read. 
from a distance, otherwise I have to bring it up very close to my face, which can be slightly embarrassing when in public, because people are wondering why you've got your head buried in a phone. So just bear that in mind. But if you do have any problems or any issues with any of these settings on this device, please do leave a comment down below. It's always great to hear from you anyway. So just say hello or drop a comment down. If it's your first video, welcome and thank you always. And please hit that subscribe button as always. We're growing so well now. So we're coming up very shortly to 4,000 subscribers. We're gonna have a nice giveaway as well to say thank you to all of you. Because without you, the channel would be nothing. And I do appreciate that. So today we went through all the disabled settings on the Sony Xperia X Compact. Thanks always for watching. From me, Ricky, I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.